o'clock, Ryan. Thank you for coming to EOS World Tour and taking my interview request. <laughs> Thanks very much. So you're the CTO for Langchain. Yes. Uh, so I heard you actually attended a hackathon, and you are like a you came out as a finalist. Oh uh, yes, our team was a finalist, but I was in mentoring in this hackathon. Hackathon, not the participants. Oh, so so you you are a mentor, but your team. Yes. Hackathon, yes, and, except me. <laughs> except me, achieved top ten finalists. Oh, great! Congrats. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, Langsheng, tell me about your project. Our project is mm, uh, translate uh, incentivized based translation DB DAP. Okay. So. Mm, mm, so no, translator works for uh, translator will work for our projects, and the data, the number of the data will be going higher, and we can rent, uh, we can rent to the bunch of DB to the big com uh, big companies such as a uh, Google or Naver something like else, and then we can be, we can make a profit from the mm, data rent, and then we can distri uh, distribute to translator as a contribution rate. Say for a, a user. Yes. Um, Coming to Langchain and mm -hmm. say, I want to translate hello mm -hmm. to Korean. Mm -hmm. uh, then what's going to happen uh, mm -hmm. in the Langchain system? Okay. Mm. Langchain, uh, Langchain will look up the out of the Langchain DB and find for a similar uh, similar results. And then we gather for three or five candidates and return to the translator. And then translator will uh, work more speedy with the candidates. And then also, uh, also translator will correct the results, and then they help to improve our Langchain DB. And then translator got the Langchain points, and then it is the uh, ba uh, basis uh, basis for the compensation. So it sounds like the translator helps to improve your DB, mm -hmm. and you're looking to maybe sell or these mm -hmm. or sell it the data to mm, yes. say Google or mm. other yes other players. Yeah, yeah big players yeah, big players and yeah. then you will get mm. get money for the compensation and yes. then you pass it on to the translator yes right? so but the translator will they get tokens right away for their mm -hmm. work we have uh, two currencies one is token and yeah. second is points mm -hmm. token is money as you as you said okay. but point is something like a um, share if they are 100 points and one translator got mm, one points. This translator have one percent. One percent. Yes. Okay. So uh, so that this translator got mm, one percent of the token and uh, token profits. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and mm. since you you haven't, I, I, I'm guessing that you haven't sold anything to say Google or mm -hmm. other big players. No. Uh, they can right now. Mm -hmm. All your translators are getting points. Right. Right. And mm -hmm. only when when you. Make profit from selling your data to the big companies, then you will distribute mm. tokens to your users. Is that correct? Correct. For distribution, we should use blockchain because the distribution will should be fair. Right, right. And is Langchain's database on the blockchain itself? Langchain only records for uh, compensation data. Uh, compensation data. Uh, yes, compensation or mm, token transferring, but uh, not sentence itself. Okay, right, right, because uh, that's how yeah, we, if the data is our the, PM. <laughs> right, right, right. So, so if the data is already blocking then people can just like, replicate it. Yes. <laughs> right, that's yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So what are the next steps for Langchain? Hmm. After private sale, we are going to uh, we are going to develop our uh, current uh, current dev, mm. current dev and Lang uh, Langchain core. The Langchain core is API, so API itself cannot uh, cannot be a service. So for easy uh, easy con easy contribution, we are we already developed some uh, we already developed um, my uh, as a tool for translation and telegram uh, telegram uh, Langchain bot and Langchain bot trainer as a tra uh, for improving in chatting. It's not uh, it's not something like a POC, a POC, but it needs to be improved for uh, not only the UI UX, but also to the mm, some structure. I see. Yes. But why did you choose EOS for your project? Mm, because of TPS. Mm, TPS attractors. Mm, yeah. Some million or hundred k TPS is, I think it's too much. But we need some reasonable uh, reasonable speed for our uh, our project. Mm, so. In Ethereum or other uh, other something, ten TPS something like tens of TPS something like this, 
no, we should wait for uh, one minute or two minutes for the click of the button, something like this. It, it's too slow for um, other users to UX. Um, we use for reasonable speed for something a thousand, a thousand TPS. Then um, we chose EOS. And then we read for a technical paper, some, something like this. We found for um, recording, uh, recording contracts and revisable smart contracts. And I really got attracted with this. With this. The most important is revisable contracts. Yeah. As I'm a developer, yeah, all uh, all of the code has some bugs, and really, uh, and mm, revisable co revisable contract is very important for <laughs> revising bugs. Mm. And is there any suggestions uh, mm -hmm. for EOS that you, you think can improve on mm -hmm. the mainnet mm -hmm. that can benefit? you guys and other developers mm, i think yeah more users will be needed more users yes more okay. users yeah currently i heard that there is only 300k users mm, in blockchain is really big uh, really big but mm, comparing to other general web service something like facebook is not really big so it needs to uh, it needs to improve quantity so i think ubi uh, UBI will be a good solution in the first key, uh, first key. but I don't. Uh, I think it should it should less less than one year. A uh, four percent in, in inflation will be distributed to user, but it's too much. I think mm. somebody calculated that. Yeah, ten years per one month. If I got this, I should sell to the market. <laughs> right. But if I got two or three per month, I will um I will save for my accounts and. Use, uh, and use it for when it when it's useful. I see. Well, thank you very much for taking my interview, and good luck with your. Thank you very making. much. <laughs> thank you, Brian.